don't know why I didn't bring my passport to Paris. I guess because I thought like, well, you know, they already let me into the country and at the first hostel they didn't ask me for my passport. So when I came to this hostel, they almost didn't let me in even though like I had already paid for four nights and I was fucking panicking. But luckily, eventually I found a picture of my passport on my phone and they were like, mm. I brought all the food with me that would spoil if I left it since I'm gonna be gone for four days. Also, I didn't bring a spoon. I'm making myself eat all this yogurt because there is no fridge at the hostel. Wow, look at the spread. I paid for breakfast, but I'm never actually hungry in the morning, so I just kind of got myself some scraps. Bonjour, puis-je acheter un passe de trois jours pour le mettre et le bus ici? It's so weird. I've been to a debac before and I was able to pay for public transport, but when I got there, they were like, who told you that? <laughs> and of course, like the only French that I'm able to like speak is something like rehearsed. So like somebody saw me struggling and then they told me in English where the metro was because it was closed. But I don't know. I walked to two separate entrances and they were closed. Oh my God. But I finally found one and I was able to buy a pass there for like four days. It's kind of weird how like buying a pass here for like three days costs like almost 30 euros. But in Lyon... Buying a pass for literally a month is like cheaper. I guess because it's Paris. I don't know why I'm like too surprised, but I was still like, damn, damn. I was taking videos, you know, blah, 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 being a tourist. And then somebody asked me like, oh, what country are you from? And I like responded and he's like, oh, free bracelets for foreigners. I told him like, um, I'll just come back after because like, oh my God, it was like so obviously a scam. And like, if it was free, why are you harassing me? Like, as I walked away, he's like, hey, 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 hey. I just kept walking. I don't really care. I thought that... That's so weird. Like, I thought that was a statue. It's so creepy. I was trying to buy a ticket for the metro, but my card kept getting declined, so I was like, ugh, I'll just go off to the side for a little bit and like try to figure things out. I was calling my mom, and then this guy asked me, hey, do you want me to lift your bag over the platform? And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm confused. And then he said, I don't even have a pass, I just cut through. So I was like, damn, I don't know, like, let me think about that, I don't know, because it, it kind of makes me nervous. And then this homeless man walked by and started like screaming and yelling a bunch of stuff. And then this guy walked over and talked to him in French. And then he came back to me and he said, he says he's happy. C'est pareil. <laughs> like to reassure me that I didn't have to worry. Then he like dug in his pocket and I was like, oh my God, I actually have a ticket in my pocket. And then he gave it to me and I was able to get through like no strings attached. Like what? Oh my God, bless you. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so funny, people say like Parisians are really rude, like what? Okay. 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 Okay.
exact same crap at every tourist attraction and you can tell it's not legal because as soon as the cops came they all just grabbed their shit and ran as fast as they could. <laughs> I'm sorry but how can anyone take you seriously? Like The round trip train ticket cost me almost 200 euros, but I'm spending so much money in Europe, I'm not even phased anymore. Well, I guess I also don't mind spending so much money while I'm traveling because that's kind of like primarily what I spend my money on. fear of going to new places by myself because I feel like I'll just get lost and won't be able to figure it out but the more I do stuff by myself and I have these experiences the more I realize that even when things will be hard like when I get confused lost or when I'm like struggling with the language somehow I eventually will figure it out Yes, I know it can be scary to put yourself in a position where you might not know what to do or where you are but once you get over that struggle, you can get that confidence in yourself that you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. If you're trying to visit another country by yourself, expect that it's gonna be hard. But god damn it, is it worth it? It's literally like your own fear that's stopping you, and I deal with this all the time. But they're just fucking mental blocks. I know everyone says this, but you're only going to grow outside of your comfort zone. It's great for your personal development to force yourself outside of what whatever you normally do or are comfortable with. Not all the time, like, you can have your comforts. say with how much I'm doing and going out and traveling like this is not my everyday life in fact my regular life at home is it's quite boring I'll just go to work edit and hang out with my family I've worked really hard and I've asked for extra hours at work for months and months I put in all the work so that I can just relax and have fun which is what you're seeing but I'm letting you know my life definitely isn't this adventurous all the time so don't feel bad The Louvre, or the Le Louvre, is so incredibly like full of art. It's like actually like overwhelming. This shit's just bursting with art. <laughs> Ideally, I would want to be here longer than four days so I could really look at everything because I'm literally just like speed running Paris. The Mona Lisa has like such concert energy. Like you'd go up to the front and then after five minutes they would just kick you out. I mean, I guess it makes sense because of that, like, soup protest.
Sun.